Hey, North family. I want to give you an update on where we are as a church and what our reopening strategy looks like. Our deacons have met and have come to uh, some agreement and uh, we have a, a plan in place at this point for North Albemarle Baptist Church. Uh, as you are aware, phase one for the state of North Carolina reopening begins this coming Friday, May the 8th. Uh, phase one, according to the governor's plan, does not change anything for us as a church. So during phase one, we will continue to do what we've been doing. We will continue online church, and we will continue doing, uh, encouraging you to watch uh, just with your immediate family at home. Once we reach phase two, uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, as a church, we are going to encourage you to begin what we are calling uh, some, some home gatherings, some small home gatherings to worship together as we continue uh, to be cautious and continue to do online church. And so what phase two will look like is uh, we will still do the online broadcast and, um, and we will still not open the sanctuary up just yet. Uh, and we will encourage you to get together with two or three other families uh, that, that you can get together on Sunday mornings and begin to worship together. Uh, you'll be able to have somebody to sing with and to pray with. We will build into our, our, our online service. We will build in more um, extensive times for prayer that you can actually just spend a few moments gathering uh, with those brothers and sisters in, in the living room with you to pray together, share prayer needs together, etc., uh, to read scripture together, and then hopefully even fellowship and, and, and enjoy lunch together. Perhaps you can uh, move from home to home Sunday after Sunday, and uh, it's a really good opportunity for us to get to know one another better and, and spend some time together in some small group gatherings while we are still worshiping together as one collective body uh, through, through the internet. So that's what phase two looks like for us. Phase three is when we are fully opened back up uh, as a state and, and we can begin to come together as a large group, as a large group, a corporate group here in the, uh, in the auditorium right behind me uh, this, this afternoon. So uh, what we want is we are looking forward to a day that we can all come together in one big group. And so instead of, instead of trying to uh, finagle uh, three or four smaller worship services every weekend, uh, we want to uh, come together on that, that day when we can finally open back up and we can, um, and, and we can just have, have a really big celebration together. So we are, we are all looking forward to that. Uh, we, are, we are certainly trying to be good stewards of everything that's given to us. We want to exercise caution and we want to uh, prioritize safety and concern for our own church family and church members. And so uh, I hope you, I hope you uh, can, can be in agreement and in accord uh, with uh, the, the decisions that the leadership of North Albemarle has come to. Uh, I'm very excited about this plan. I think, uh, I think there's some really good things that are going to come out of this. And I look forward to, uh, to instructing you even further on how we're going to do some of these uh, in-home gatherings over the next few weeks. So, uh, Lord willing, we'll, we'll all be back together sometime in the near future for a, for a big worship service. Uh, listen, we've already got the smoker lined up. We've already started buying barbecue for that day we all get to come back together. And uh, I'm practicing my cartwheels. So um, it's going to be a, a good time when we come back together. I love you as a church family. Uh, I know I've only been here a few months, but uh, I have grown to love you so much over these past four months. And I miss you, and I cannot wait to worship with you in person. Uh, you keep praying for us as a church. Keep praying for the deacons. Keep praying for me as your pastor as we are uh, trying to lead through uh, these uncharted times. And um, uh, listen, God loves you. I love you. I pray that you have a great rest of your week.